dear students welcome back to our channel general learnings in this video you are going to find the fraction of a number also you are going to learn the types of fractions let us start now first they have given one question 1 by 2 of 10 floors so we are going to find the 1 by 2 of a 10 floors so we 1 by 2 means what? 1 by 2 is will be called as an half. So out of 10 floors, we are going to find the half of the floors. For that, 1 by 2 should be written as it is. Then half. Half means what? Half means it's multiply. Then 10 floors. So 10 should be written. So now we are going to multiply the fractions with the whole number. So here fraction is 1 by 2. And the whole number is 10. So if whole number is 10 means if it does not have a denominator. So we should consider the denominator should be 1. So the denominator of the whole number will be 10 by 1. So if the denominator is not, not there means we should consider it as a 1. Now we are going to do the multiply. So first we need to multiply the numerator. That is 1 into 10. So 1 tens are 10. Next we need to multiply the denominator. Which is 2 into 1. So 2 ones are 2. Now we need to divide them. That is 10 by 2. So 10 by 2. When we divide the 10 by 2. We will get 5. So 10 by 2 is 5 flowers. So 1 by 2 of 10 flowers is what we will get? We will get 5. Now we will see another one. They have given 1 by 3 of 9 eggs. So we need to find the 1 by 3 of 9 eggs. So first we need to write 1 by 3 as it is. Then for of we need to do multiply then 9. So we are going to multiply the fraction along with the whole number. So if whole number does not have denominator means we should consider it as an 1. So the denominator will be 1. Now we need to multiply the numerator that is 1 into 9. So 1 9 so 9. Next we need to multiply the denominator 3 into 1. 3 ones are 3. Now we need to divide them. 9 by 3. So when we divide 9 by 3, we will get 3. So the answer will be 3 eggs. Let us see another one. They have given 1 by 4 of 16 balloons. First we need to write 1 by 4 as it is. For of we need to do multiply. Then 16. So, now we are going to multiply the fractions along with the whole number. If whole number does not have denominator means we should consider it as an 1. So, 16 by 1. Now, we need to multiply the numerator. That is 1 into 16 which is 16. Next, need to multiply the denominator 4 into 1. So, 4 ones are 4. Now we need to divide them. So we need to divide 16 by 4. So what we will get? We will get 4. So 1 by 4 of 16 is 4. Next they have given 5 by 2 of 8 balls. So first we need to write 5 by 2 as it is. For of we need to write multiply. Next 8. So 5 by 2 is a fraction. We are going to multiply the fraction with the whole number. If whole number does not have denominator means we need to consider it as a 1. So 8 by 1. Now we need to multiply the numerator. That is 5 into 8. So 5 8 is 40. Next we need to multiply the denominator. That is 2 into 1. So 2 1 is 2. Now we need to divide them. 40 by 2. When we divide 40 by 2, we will get the answer as 20. So, 5 by 2 of 8 ball is 20 balls. 
Now we are going to see the what are the types of fractions. The first one is unique fraction. Fractions that have the numerator as 1 are called unique fraction. So unique fraction means what? If the numerator is 1 means that fraction will be called as an unique fractions. Now we will see some of the examples. 1 by 2. Here the numerator is 1. So this fraction will be called as an unique fraction. 1 by 3. Here the numerator is 1. So 1 by 3 will be called as an unique fraction. 1 by 4. Here the numerator is 1. So 1 by 4 will be called as an unique fraction. So, unit fraction means what? If the numerator has 1 means that fraction will be called as an unit fractions. Next, like fractions. So, what is a like fraction? Fraction with the same denominator or called like fraction. So, like fraction means what? If the denominators are same means that fraction will be called as an like fractions. Let us see some of the examples. 2 by 4, 3 by 4, 1 by 4. So, here the denominator is what? 4. So, all the fraction have the same denominator as 4. So, 2 by 4, 3 by 4, 1 by 4 will be called as an like fractions because the denominators are same. If the denominators are same means that fraction will be called as a like fractions. Next one is unlike fractions. So what is unlike fraction? Fractions with the different denominator are called unlike fractions. Suppose if the denominators are different, that fraction will be called as a unlike fractions. Let us see some examples. 2 by 4, 3 by 5. 1 by 4. Here the denominators are 4, 5, 4. So all the denominators are different. So this fraction that is 2 by 4, 3 by 4, 1 by 4 will be called as an unlike fractions. So unlike fractions means what? If the denominators are different means that fractions will be called as an unlike fractions. Next we are going to see proper fractions. So, what is proper fractions? Fractions that have numerator smaller than the denominator are called proper fraction. So, proper fraction means what? The numerator should be smaller than the denominator. Let us see some examples. 2 by 4. Here the numerator is 2. Denominator is 4. So, Numerator is smaller than the denominator. So, 2 by 4 will be called as a proper fractions. Next, 3 by 5. Here the numerator is 3. Denominator is 5. So, which is smaller than the denominator. So, which is 3 by 5 will be called as a proper fractions. Next, 1 by 4. Here numerator is 1. Denominator is 4. So, numerator is smaller than the denominator. So, 1 by 4 will be called as a proper fractions. So, proper fraction means what? If the numerator is smaller than the denominator, that fraction will be called as a proper fractions. Next one is improper fractions. What is improper fractions? Fractions that have numerators greater than the denominators are called improper fractions fractions. So, improper fraction means the numerator should be greater than the denominator. So, that fraction will be called as an improper fraction. Let us see some examples. They have given 11 by 6. So, here the numerator is 11. Denominator is 6. So, here the numerator is greater than the denominator. So, 11 by 6 will be called as an improper fractions. Next, they have given 5 by 2. So, numerator is 5, denominator is 2. So, which is greater? So, 5 by 2 will be called as an improper fractions. Next, 9 by 8. So, 9 is a numerator. 
8 is a denominator. So, the numerator is greater than the denominator. So, 9 by 8 will be called as an improper fraction. So, improper fraction means what? The numerator should be greater than the denominator. That fractions will be called as an improper fractions. Okay, students, I hope you will understand how to find the fraction of your number and the types of fractions. Thanks for watching. If you want more videos like this, please go and visit my YouTube channel at Gender Learnings 91. Thank you.